After almost 18 months, AVG has upgraded the free version of their antivirus 7.5 to the AVG 8.0. You probably have three or four months before they phase out the 7.5. I've not read any date yet that they're giving on when you have to move to it. But when you do, here's how you do it. Click on the link here on this tip that will take you to this website. This is the AVG free download website. Now depending on the day you actually watch the video, this date here will change. But all the techniques are the same. Just simply click right on the name of the file you want to download, which is right here. I'm using Firefox. Firefox asks me, do I want to open or save? I'm going to save the file. And Firefox automatically saves the file to the desktop. And you just have to wait till that actually downloads. Once the download finishes, you'll be presented with a little icon, as you see here. Simply double click on it to start the installation. You'll be presented with the Welcome to the Free Setup program. Click Next. Click Accept. Click Accept again. The reason you have to accept twice is the new AVG antivirus includes both their anti-spyware product and their anti-virus product. The screen that you see after you hit Accept the second time, it tells you that it sees your old version of AVG and that it will uninstall it. So you just simply say that's fine. Go ahead and click Next. Click Next again. Click Next again. Security toolbar is up to you. I don't like extra toolbars on my browsers, so I uncheck that. And then click Finish. Once the installation finishes, you'll get the installation complete screen. Go ahead and click OK. And then it's going to bring you to their wizard that will help you set everything up. Just go ahead and click Next. Then the wizard asks you whether or not you want it to do daily scans. Probably a good idea. With the free version, you can either enable them or disable them. But by keeping them enabled, you only get to choose the time. I usually like to choose something in the middle of the night so that it doesn't bug me during the day. The computer obviously has to be on. Click Next. In step three, AVG would like you to participate, if you're willing, in an effort for them to kind of watch your browsing and get an idea of what sites are dangerous and what sites are not. They don't collect any personal information, they say. I don't think I'm going to do that, so I'm going to click Next. You're going to click Next again, and it tells you that your computer has to be rebooted before it can do an update, so just go ahead and click OK. You can choose to register or not, and click Next, and then finally click Finish. And it'll ask you, would you like to restart your computer? And I would say yes at this point. After you restart your computer, you can now right click and delete the installation file or just push delete on your keyboard. You don't need that any further. The new free AVG 8.0 has a new control panel giving you the status of what's going on. If you have all green check marks like we had before, everything is good. To configure some of the options in AVG free, we're going to start here in the email scanner. Double click on it. On the email scanner, you want to make sure that you are scanning incoming and outgoing messages. And then click Save Changes. If you double click the Resident Shield, that's the actual part of the antivirus program that is constantly looking for what's going on on your computer. It gives you some options on whether or not you want to have threats removed automatically or you would like to be asked before they get deleted. I prefer that they just remove when they see something they don't like. I won't like it either, so just go ahead and remove it. And you can detect, you can also uh, have it detect cookies in this new version, which means it'll look for the cookies that it deems are not functional and not good for your computer. So I'm going to click that as well. Click Save Changes. And then lastly, you might want to click Tools and Advanced Settings from the Tools menu. And in here, you can make some of the changes that were a little more hidden in previous versions of AVG. So under the email scanner, for example, if I click certification, it will automatically put a incoming and outgoing message on all emails that it searches. And then you can change that message. Or if you click the email scanner here, you can choose not to certify the message at all or to just certify the ones with attachments only, etc. You can make those changes right in here. So it's under Tools and Options. And then lastly, in the Schedule section, if you click the Schedules and then click Scheduled Scan, this is where you can control what is being scanned and what is not. Now again, in the free version, you cannot, have, you cannot schedule custom scans, only complete scans. 
Now if you want to change the time, it's here. This is the, the uh, box I prefer to uncheck, which means it'll run a computer scan every time it starts up. I don't like that to happen. I want it to run when I want it to run, but not when I start the computer up. If it missed, it's scheduled. So that is the new AVG 8.0. I think it looks like it's going to be a pretty good system. The anti-spyware is probably a nice addition. Spyware continues to be the number one problem with Windows security. And the ABG anti-spyware is a good product. And we'll see how this new 8.0 goes.